Hello friends! Welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a watercolor of Ceres and Eucalyptus in the base. Look at the petals. I'm touching it. It feels like tissue paper. This flower color is vivid and highly saturated. So beautiful, right? Okay. Okay, my materials, I'm going to use color bright rose, permanent bio red, vermilion green deep, indigo, and cobalt green. And also, I'm going to use marine blue, brushes, Huahong map brush, Escoda, and Da Vinci brush. And also, I will sketch with 2H pencil on Archie Cold Forest 140 pound. Let's do a little quick drawing. If you are first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. Thank you. Before you paint it on the paper, you already have a painting in your mind. You should do that for whatever painting, acrylic, oil, especially in watercolor. Do a little bit more thinking what color will you use. First, I will start to wet the paper with the Hua Hong map brush in background. Be sure to save some space for the base and flowers two or three times. Don't push the brush. Okay, take a bit of indigo and cobalt green for the first layer on the background. Touching the paper here and there. And then next, the mixture of cobalt green, marine blue, and vermilion green tip. Put on the where the meet the base and table. It'll be the shadow area. Okay, get a bit of permanent violet for adding on the second layer for the background area. I'm using the tip of the mop brush. Steel paper and brush holds a lot of uh, water. So move it to your brush uh, very quick. Okay. Let's move on to flowers. I'm going to use bright rose and permanent violet. So first mix the two of colors, put on the flower with watery color. And next, what I'm doing now, using a side of a brush, push the paper, drag, and tick, tick, touch the paper lightly and gently. Push, drag, tick, tick, touch. Let's move on to eucalyptus. I'm mixing vermilion green dip, indigo, and von sienna from other palette. Draw eucalyptus with wet on dry technique. Just using a side of the brush, this is I'm use I'm wet on dry technique. Throw another eucalyptus leaf. Throw the line in the center of the leaf. I 
I drew very light color. I'll be back uh, with the dark color again there and come back to flower again. Put on the flower a little bit darker and a thicker color. This is the uh, second layer for flowers. The tip of the flower petal is very sharp, so I'm just rolling the brush on the paper, putting the color with the tip of the brush. I got some colors uh, for stems. I mixed uh, uh, green and uh, burnt sienna, a little bit of burnt sienna. Draw the stem with the tip of the brush. Let's move on to draw stem in the water. I'm mixing the colors, very dark green for stems. Draw stem and on dry technique. Draw many stems, different angle, different uh, size, some stems thicker, some stems very thin. I think some dark uh, green on the first layer of the stem. Okay, next, uh, take a look at the glass area. I got some cobalt green. I'm going to using wet on dry technique to draw the baseline. This is cobalt green. And I'm going to leave the highlight on the top of the grass and the top of the water surface. I want to be a little careful. Only thing to be careful about is the highlight area. Got some little bit dark color. Put on the base area for second layer. Draw the line carefully. Take a little bit of marine blue. Draw the grass line and draw the line where the water meet the glass. This base is glass, so we can see the shiny part in the glass. So try to draw a horizontal line like this. This is a little bit difficult. You will not have confidence, right? But just to do it, just to enjoy the process. That's very important. That's what I want. That's what I want to prom you, okay?
from the little bit dark area with marine blue. Put on the uh, dark color on the eucalyptus leaves. This is a final touch up for the eucalyptus. Draw small stem. This is the second layer for uh, eucalyptus. I'm using very light colors. I got some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna color I'm going to add on the some stem. Tiny stem. Draw, uh, I'm using the tip of the brush. I want to mix a little bit a different color, so I'm adding some burnt sienna and dark color. This is the uh, final touching. So here and there. This is final touch up through the. A stem and tiny flower area all the small detail area we have the tiny brush so using we are using the tiny brush on the table uh, put on the flower colors through the table lines with the tiny brush Colored, put the color and uh, dilute the, uh, that color with the green water. Okay, looks very beautiful. Okay, we are all done today's painting. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.